Hello, hello, it's Heather. I had to get a drink real quick. Okay, so the struggle is real, right? Always to come to a live stream that's scheduled sometimes. I had a good phone call though. My car is ready to be picked up and I don't have to pay anything out of pocket. Score, right? That's awesome. Good news for Monday. Okay, so I'm just opening the chat real quick. Somehow. One day. Okay, here we go. There we go, here we go. Pop out chat. Okay, got it. I think I can close all that. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay, so I have two little friends over here that I hauled for 75 cents a pound. We'll just talk about those two little guys first. Um, so here I have an elf. He was actually wrapped in an old shoe box with a bunch of tissue paper. So I know he's vintage based on the box that he was in. Um, but I didn't pick up the box because the box was all like dusty and damaged and it was even ripped somebody ripped it open they saw the elf and they moved along well when i saw the elf i was like how cute um and if you look up vintage elves they do sell for some pretty good money and then i got this bar sea light and they do sell for about 35 dollars i'm not the best at shipping glass but i know it can be done and there's no chips or scratches or anything on it. Um, these do sell. It's crazy. Like, they sell like crazy. Um, and then I'll show you the little elf. He doesn't have any markings, but he's hollow, so he's not that heavy. And he actually sits on the corner of a shell or, like, on the edge of a table so his legs hang off. Um, and if you look at the ones that sell, it kind of looks like him. The ones that sell for like $50 to $100. So I took a little risk on him. And I mean, he's actually pretty cute. I wouldn't mind hoarding him until I find the right buyer, right? Um, I'm going to set him up here. I hope he doesn't fall, right? <laughs> Kind of creepy. <sighs> Who's here? Y'all say hello. Who's watching? Don't be shy. There's only two of you, right? Okay, I'm excited. Let's get into some hard goods here. And this I talked about in the video right before this one. I picked up a luggage that has its vintage it's all real leather but it has unicorns on it how weird is that but cool right where is the unicorn have y'all seen it yet <laughs> let's see it's like she's hiding i see one on this side uh, oh there's one on the top right there so it's a fabric um, suitcase. It does not have wheels. Good morning, Ruby Tote Boutique. Thanks for saying hello and not being creepy in the chat, right? Um, joking, joking. So there's a leather tag, and on the inside, they did write their name. The last name was Warren. But the one I have inside, they did not write their name on, so that's good. So I only got this mostly because of the unicorn. Unicorns have, like, literally really become popular um, in the past year or two. I mean, they've always been popular, but... They really kind of blew up this past year. So it does have some staining, as you can see, but they still sell. So check it out. Inside this bag, you guys are going to freak out. 
this whole bag is full of hard goods at 75 cents a pound. So I paid 75 cents a pound for this luggage. Is that a fox? Or a coyote? How cute! It looks like it. And there's clouds. Look at the unicorn. Isn't it pretty? Okay, so check out what I have inside. We'll find the receipt somewhere. I think I spent like, I don't know, 50 bucks that day. I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. So you open like so. I'm to keep this over here, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, first things first. I'm so happy to show you guys. Hello, Sarah Kay. Um, you never would guess that Teletubbies sell. Like, I never knew anybody who liked this show. I guess because when it came out, I was a teenager, and teenagers made fun of these toys. A lot. I think the thing that they made fun of was that the main real characters were gay, um, but that was what everybody joked about. So <laughs> these things actually do sell. Go check them out again. You see the tag Teletubbies, um, especially if you have all of them together. So that's crazy, right? Um, I got this, and I have no idea what this is. Berard, France. I didn't see the engraving. I actually just saw that it was this cute little wooden bowl, and I thought maybe it'd be cute for my sage. So it has a $4 price on there. So I paid, again, everything in here at um, $0.75 cents a pound. Well, this, it looks like it's wood, but then it looks like it's plastic. But I'm pretty sure this one is also wood, and it's, I don't know what it is. It's just a cute little bowl, right? I'm anti-plastic, so that's why I got those. They're just so adorable. Okay, I haven't had a chance to look up this company but the box was there. These fell out of it, and so I didn't even need the box. These were, I had to look for one bottle, and the other bottle, they were just kind of scattered everywhere at when a new row came out. Um, literally, these were not in the box, and I didn't want the box because I'd have to weigh it, pay for it, even though that's cheap, um, but it was kind of a big, longer box, so it would be more expensive to ship it. However, these are brand new. And I'm pretty sure they're more of an expensive brand. Um, essential fatty acids help maintain skin's barrier function. Let's see how many chemicals it's got. Mm -mm. Seems like a lot, but then it seems like there's a lot of um, oils in here too. So maybe organic oils. Anywho, it's Murad. I've never heard of it. Uh, renewing cleansing cream. Both of these are the same thing. Cool. Let's check it out. Okay, so that one is opened. It's full. I was hoping they'd have like an aluminum like that covered. So that one's brand new. I wonder if it has a smell. I will not be keeping these. Maybe look them up on Poshmark and eBay. Okay. All right. Next thing, I thought this would be cute for reselling. So it's a hanger. I got it for my inventory clothes. It's got these cute little pant hooks. We could always use those. Um, I'm not like pulling stuff out and I still have stuff in my lap. So I got this cool little hippie purse. It's got some kind of cool charm here. It had another one that was broke and I took it off and I didn't know if it went with the bag so I kept it on here. It's this cool little hippie aztec -y bag with the horses on it. It's supposed to be popular. The face cleaner, the Murad, it looked expensive so I got it. I've sold that kind of stuff before. 
So this didn't have a brand, but due to the fact that it did have the adorable horses on it, people collect that and love it. Um, I went ahead and got it. There's no holes or anything. It's a cool little hippie bag. I always sell bags on Poshmark. Okay, so inside I got this. These are a dollar at Walmart, and this one's clearly brand new, so I weighed it at 75 cents a pound. You take that out, and it's a solar light, which it hasn't been in the light, so it's not going to work. Um, but I have these all around my house, and they always break, so I continuously buy them. And I started upgrading and buying the more expensive ones because I get tired of these breaking all the time. But they do work great, and they're only like 99 cents. So solar light, they don't require batteries. Well, I mean, if they do, you like the little pocket or the watch batteries. The bag is super cute. Thank you. Um, but I never replace the batteries. I just replace the sticks. They break before I can put batteries in them. I guess Halloween's coming up. This is a cheap hat, but it's cool. It says SWAT, and it's brand new. It feels really cheap, so it's like a costume hat, I think. So I figured this would sell. What did they send me a picture of? Oh, a video. Okay, puppy video. <laughs> Anybody remember this from when you were in elementary school? I am not sure why I got this, but I just wanted to play with it and let the kids play around with it. This is, says it's for flowers, but it's floral clay. Hmm. I don't know. I hope it's not toxic or anything. I would assume it's not, but it's that molding clay. Oh my gosh, just to rub it is this weird, right? It's so fun. You can mold it, like molding clay. So I was going to let Rylan fool around with that. Hopefully not make too big of a mess. Okay, and, and why I got this, I don't know. I don't like cats, but since I'm getting older, I do need to start blocking the UV rays for wrinkles. Uh, this looks like a brand new silky rose hat. So brand new, there's like... It's so clean, you know, like no wear at all. No stains. I don't think anybody ever wore it. It's like something from Forever 21 or something. I don't know. It has an RN number 52469, but it is uber cheap, like super duper cheap. Pretty cool little hat, if I don't say so myself. Uh, I have SWAT t-shirts that are real issued ones from a large city near you. Got them out of a storage unit I bought. Am I allowed to sell them? Heck yeah, I sold a, uh, I sold a U United States Post Office shirt. Like an actual real, I mean, that's a, that's a state company, right? The bank or the post, I'm thinking bank. The post office is run by the government. That's a government shirt, right? <laughs> I would try it. The worst, Sarah, that eBay would do is just take it down. Like, I would think, unless you've had a couple flags on your account, you don't want to risk your account getting taken down. But, you know, if you list stuff, sometimes eBay will just give you a warning. Heck yeah, and have you checked the solds? Do you know how to check solds? Because if you don't, just go to my recent research videos and I show you how to search solds on eBay. Um, okay, so I found this Edinburgh scarf and I've told you guys in the videos previously that I pick up anything with plaid or Burberry-like. Um, and winter is coming. So I found this scarf, and luckily this one has tags, um, but this one's a lot nicer than the ones that I find. Um, Stuart Camel. I wonder if my eBay app will scan this. Let's see real quick. No flags. You'll give it a shot. Heck yeah. Um, good luck. Yes, ma'am. Check the solds and see if any has sold. Yeah, it's not. Oh, yeah, it didn't pull it up. I could just type in Edinburgh, but 
I usually don't do that to make you guys wait. I've never heard of this company. House of Edinburgh. Yeah, they're not selling for very much. And there's one for 20. So, I mean, I paid nothing for it. So, eBay generally prohibits, oh, police equipment. Yeah, I would definitely check the solds and see if there's any there. Um, and if you want to sell it quick, Sarah, then put like a cheaper, like put a crazy cheap price, like 20 bucks or 30 bucks. Always do buy it now on those. So, I mean, sometimes you can get away with selling it before eBay catches you. So, it's true. It is true. Don't uh, listen to me, though. I'm a rebel, so I'll get you in trouble. So that's cool. The scarf is pretty nice. All right. I'm still not done with this freaking bag. Yes, yeah, so that's what I was thinking, that I don't think it's fair that eBay allows you to sell the post office uh, jacket that I sold. Because somebody could act like they're a postal person and be going and digging through your mailboxes. You know what I mean? So I don't think it's fair either. Ha ha rebel. Yes. That's exactly what I had said, Bearded Picker, in my video was that. Um, yeah, that is tough. You might, I don't know, Sarah. What would you do with it? Craigslist? <laughs> Well, I mean, Halloween's coming. You might just put that it's a costume, seriously. Like, put that it's a costume and act like you didn't know it was real and do a cheap buy it now. If it's real good quality SWAT, did you say SWAT? Then someone might buy it fast. So, you never know. There's people that sit there and watch eBay like crazy. Um, okay, so I got this silly glass wine cup. It's literally glass. Y'all know I'm a sucker for glass lately because I'm trying to be all organic. I'm a wannabe. No shame. Um, but if you look up this cup on eBay, they do sell, um, I was thinking maybe even the parts alone, like the rubber comes off. The lid could be replaceable. I have a scratch on here. Yeah. So there's a little scratch on the outside. But it's clearly not the um, actual glass is not broken. So it's a good working cup. So, yeah, play stupid and call it a costume. Ha ha. <laughs> Wine on the go. Yeah. Okay, so we're finished with our cute little tote bag here. So. And then I think I have said that I would never pick up one of these, um, like Mexico leather bags. I had one sit forever on Poshmark. I probably should have put it on eBay. Um, cause I took a really low offer, like probably less than 20 bucks on a really cool, completely leather, uh, bag that I thought was super cute. Um, but I couldn't resist this one, right? It's got the monogrammed or... What do you call it when your name is? I can't think of the damn word. Anyways, your name engraved. So it's a genuine leather, as you can see pretty well. Um, it had a vintage Estee Lauder comb in here. Normally I would throw that out, but I am, I will repeat myself. I'm looking for the Avon vintage pink brush. And if you look up the Avon is it Avon? Yeah, I think it's Avon. Yeah, Avon. Yeah, <laughs> I'm all Avon pink brush. They sell for like a hundred dollars. So I was like, yeah, I didn't want to look up this vintage comb. I'll just leave it in there. So what I have in here, here's the inside of the bag. It's pretty decent, right? Corners. So I paid seventy-five cents a pound for this bag. It's like a dollar or two, right? Okay, so this is what I keep telling you guys in the videos, okay? I come across all these like old leather bags and none of them ever have any names. And I just throw them back. Um, but this one was different. It's like a mini clutch and it is like 
uber, uber stinking old. Stinks like old leather, all of it, right? Um, check out the zipper. Anytime you have these zippers, they're super vintage. I need to make this screen bigger. Hold on one second. Un momento, por favor. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so I was like, what is this old clutch? So I got it. And I'm just going to list it on eBay. It probably won't sell, but I took a risk on it. I paid nothing for it. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I just, I need to do more research on um, vintage leather bags with no name. Need to write that down. Can anybody remind me in the research videos? We need to do more luggage research and more vintage purses. Except when I did pull up the research, I think I wasn't typing in the right words because I'm not pulling up any vintage non-branded leather purses. I mean, I can't tell you guys, I can't stress to you enough how many times I come across really old bags like this. Like bigger though. I'm talking like purses that are so old. I wanted to throw this back. Again, I'm super into crystals. I really am not sure if this is a real emerald. I think this is going to be emerald. Um, it's 12 and up. And I thought the kids would think this is cool if we did this at home. You can grow your own crystals. Um, apparently you only can buy, you buy this for like 10 bucks. But I got it again weighed by the pound so I went ahead and got it. Um, it says you can remove them from the solution after one week. Okay so I guess it takes about a week for the crystal to completely grow. So this will be cool. I'll have to do a video on this, right? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so here's the second suitcase that matches my unicorn. So I have the garment bag. I think I thought before this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock these both up together, sell them as, I need to flatten it out. It's been bagged up all weekend while we were camping. Um, there's no logo, no name, right? When I searched on eBay, you just type in the garment bag with a unicorn and this pulls up as French, something French. Um, so I'm going to list them together, but then I'm also going to list them separate because if one sells before the other for a good price, heck yeah, I'm going to sell it. Um, so yeah, I thought. I'm going to do a duplicate listing and I don't care if it's not allowed or is allowed. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, it is embroidered. I wasn't sure. Yeah. The stitching it's see it. I don't know that word tap it tapestry. Like I've heard of it a million times. Um, and I know the word embroidered and embroidery, but is it called and considered tapestry? I'm totally blonde. Yeah, tapestry. Yeah, it's um, stitched all throughout fabric, embroidered. Isn't it cool? Like, I was like, wow, that is so nice. I'm totally going to get this. And if I have to sit on it for six months, I guess I will. So, I totally paid for bubble. I don't order enough, obviously, online and ship so much that I can never have enough of these air bubbles for shipping. So I paid for these and they won't go in the dumpster. Such a recycler. Um, knowing the reseller in me, recently I hauled garage sale signs. So I was so excited to pick these up for like 75 cents a pound. And guess what? Your girl's got a car to sell. My mother-in-law let me borrow her little car while I was getting my hail damage fixed and my bumper crash. Um, I'm going to sell her old little car and I'm going to use these. You can call me. Okay. It's like a, I'm going to think I'm going to list the car for about 2000. It's just like a Ford. I forget if it's a fusion or a focus. I think it's a fusion. Okay. I haven't even opened this little monkey, but look how cute it is. I did see the tail sticking out. Does it come with a play monkey or is that just a picture? Let's look. 
I knew that this is gonna sell because it's just so stinking cute. Um, 12 to 18 months. Ooh, the fabric on this is amazing. So I can already tell this is a good company. Let's just hope that we're not missing any pieces. What does it come with? National Wildlife Federation Critter Facts. Do y'all want to learn something new? Uh, it's the Green E Org. So 100% of the electricity used to make this costume is also offset with certified renewable energy certificates. Awesome. Okay, it includes a bodysuit, booties, character headpiece, and monkey stuff toy. It does. Cool. I'm so happy that it's like naturally made. Okay, so cool. We have our booties that have a little bit of dirt on them on the bottom. That's okay. Just in time for Halloween. So there's our headpiece. Y'all only put it on. It does fit, okay. And then, oh no, they didn't give us our monkey toy. So that's okay, like how many kids have a monkey as a toy at home? Um, I know my kids, when they were born, someone, the family member had bought them a stuffed monkey. So, okay, we are missing our monkey, but that's okay. I'm not upset at all. I feel like this little costume is gonna sell. We don't have a monkey. The baby really liked a monkey. Okay, so if you wanted to learn something new, there are 196 species of monkeys in the world. From the largest, the baboon, to the smallest, the pygmy marmoset. Depending on the species, they may live from 10 to 50 years. And then many species are considered at critical risk, including the southern murkew, mer black faced tamarind, and Tonkin snub nosed monkey. Over 30 monkeys are listed as endangered, including El Hoest Guenon, Lion Tailed Mock, and Mandrill. Sold exclusively at HalloweenExpress.com. Cool. I love how they uh, did the um, recyclable energy or whatever electricity. So, okay, I'm gonna shove this in the bag later so y'all don't have to sit here and watch me shuffle through all that because I know how daunting that can be. So y'all know how in my old videos, I'm like, yeah, this guy gave me these glasses. He asked me if I wanted them and they're just a cheap old pair of sunglasses. And I was like, heck yeah. Thanks, you just saved me 10 bucks because I buy a lot of sunglasses. I sit on them, I break them, I lose them, they get scratched. And so he found these white and black ones. And these are so cool because they're bendable. But I really like that they're not white on the outside because I don't like white sunglasses. So I'm totally keeping these. They're 100% UV protection and they're from Express. Like I need sunglasses all day long. And he had picked these up and he was like, oh, those are just a uh, prescription or something. I think he said they were, but they're not. Um, these are actually guests. Are these? Oh, shoot. They are prescription, but they're, you know, UV protection. Um, and I actually can sell uh, name brand sunglasses, even though when they're prescription, you can change the lenses out. So the frames alone may be worth a couple dollars. These are actually scratched, um, but still, I pick them up all the time. Okay, so that's all the hard goods, except there's a couple books in here. Let's get into the clothes. <clears throat> I got some really, really cute stuff, and I forgot to put in the title that I found Johnny Was. Um, I totally found Johnny Was, and I actually found that Johnny was sitting right next to a freaking lady that I ended up kind of talking to for the first time ever. I've seen her in there numerous times and I seen her at Play-Doh's closet. So had she have picked up this brand, she would have picked it up and taken it home with her. But I grabbed it before she saw it. And I didn't even like hold it up and inspect it for stains or holes because 
I can sell Johnny Was with stains and holes. So I haven't even got to see my Johnny Was piece. I don't even know if it's a shirt or if it's a dress or a tunic, whatever. And I don't know if it has stains or holes on it. So I'm so excited to um, show it to you guys because we're going to see it together. I literally didn't look at it. I had to go. I was like, I need to leave already. Um, this is Connie A. Lee. I don't know if it's vintage, but it is uber cute. I think, is it cashmere cashmere or mohair? Let me look. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it's Angora and acrylic. It's made in Korea. Only reason why I got it is because it's uber soft. Only reason. There's actually three or four reasons. One, it's uber soft. Two, it's royal blue, which is so cool. Three, the bow here is a staple. Like, it's just fancy and elegant. Come on, was it three or four? It's beaded all the way down. And then let's say five, it's very unique. So it's got the cool uh, sleeves. It's got shoulder padding, so it is vintage. So it's popping, right? And then it's really tight at the waist. So it's definitely gonna show off your figure. Okay, we're gonna put all the clothes in a pile. I almost threw this back. Um, why? Why did I almost throw it back? Was there something wrong with it? I don't know, but I think it's anthropology. This tag is Molinette, yeah, whatever, size six. One, I don't sell tube dresses. This is a tube because it's sleeveless. These don't sell very well for me, but maybe the brand will. You love the color? Yeah, that blue is beautiful. Um, it's smocked in the back, smocked right here, stretchy, um, size six. So why did I think I needed to put it back? I guess I had thought, ooh, look at that lace on the inside. That's cute. Didn't even see that. Anyways, I got that. I thought it was going to be a cheaper piece, but it ended up being really nice. Oh, this is cool. Um, this is like a cape sweater thingy. And it's really cute and fancy because it clasps in front. I'm all like so. It's going to be nice and perfect for the winter. And it is uber soft. It does not have a brand. or Yeah, it's 100% acrylic. It has a RN number, but I don't know the brand, so who knows? So soft, I love it. Okay, inside the suitcases with the unicorn, the French connection or French brand, um, the man that had shown me those suitcases, he uh, looked inside of the suitcases and he found a bunch of women's leather clothing. How does this work? I can't get it. Um, so I found this one inside the suitcases. This one's actually really fancy. It's kind of like a vest or kind of a coat, I would say. Um, and it hooks in the front. It's real suede, I think. Yeah, it's Suede Originals by Altman of Dallas. It's stinky like a baby throw up. The vintage leather, it always smells like a baby's throw up. And if you don't have children, you won't know what I'm talking about. But if you ever have an infant throw up their bottle on your shoulder, that's what vintage leather smells like baby throw up. Pretty cool, huh? I'm actually going to hang this on the back of the chair. It's getting wrinkly. Um, yeah, it's a very cool piece. Um, the man, he had found like three pieces and his were kind of dirty, but they were real suede leather. And he was like, yeah, my chick, I guess his girlfriend, he said, uh, he was like, she's going to I think he said something like, she's going to give me some tonight. I was like, okay, because he found her that suede stuff. So I was like, okay, dude, whatever. That makes her happy. 
Um, here's a papaya dress. Papaya is like a Dillard's brand, kind of a mall brand, but it is a beautiful um, dress. So it's kind of got the V cut. It's got lace shoulders and it's accordion bottom. And I did inspect it over for any flaws. I didn't see any. Um, what size? It's a papaya size small, but it looks like it's a medium. So I don't know. Very cute. Very cute. Ay, ay. Don't fall on me. Okay. I think I did look this up on eBay, but very briefly, you guys, and it was a decent sell, and anything with a staple like a pig with wings is cool. I might see, no, it's the extra large. It's going to say my neighbor rides bikes a lot, but I don't think he would ever wear an extra large. He's pretty thin. He's skinny, man. Um, this brand is pretty decent. Pig Newton um, Primal Wear. It's for bicycle cycling. I think it's so rad, it's so cool. Um, look at these back pockets back here, you guys. You can literally hold your iPhone 8 Plus plus your bottle of water in there. Woo woo! That's so cool, I love this piece. Even if it only sells for 20 bucks, I'm okay with that. Okay, so. Here I have a vintage um, dress. It goes all the way to the ground. It's a maxi dress. It's that picnic table fabric. I'm not sure. Somebody had said something that this reminded them of and I'm unfamiliar with it and can't remember what they had said. Um, but the eyelet trim, it's a beautiful long ruffle bottom dress. And I pick up anything that's vintage like this. And my mom loves to sell it, too. She likes to list it. So that's always good. Okay, I'm pretty sure I already did my research. Oh, don't fall. There it goes. That's okay. I got another bag. Um, I had already done my research, I think, on this. Nope, not this one. Is it this one? Nope. It fell on the ground. Don't quote me on this. I don't know why I got this one except for the fact that I can tell that it's vintage and it's pearl snap. It's a man's pearl snap. Gingham? I think that's what they did say, but what is gingham? Gingham. Pearl snaps do sell. Oh man, look at that. They patched it up. That's going to hurt the value. They freaking had a hole in it. I wonder it got, it's, there's not even a brand on here, you guys. I'm not really sure why I picked this up since it does have two patches. It's the type of plaid kingdom. What the heck? I need to know that. I don't know that. that. Um, I think this will go in a garage sale. Even though it's so cute, um, it's totally vintage, but it's patched up. I'm gonna throw that in my garage sale pile. Um, I'll tell you what I was gonna say in a minute, but I did pick up this vintage ski jacket. Look at the colors. I love it. Pink and then purple pink. So cute. The vintage ski coat with no stains and no holes. Um, okay, cool. It does have the size. It's made in Taiwan. It's first tracks. It does have a pink staining there, but that's okay. Look at the buttons. The buttons aren't even like peeled off. Usually these peel off the paint. So that's cool. That needs to be an eBay listing. Hold on, you guys. My bag fell. Okay, as I was saying, I did my research on... Um, I still need to do research. I still need to do research on men's button down shirts, but I'm pretty sure I already did research quite a while back on these Wrangler ones. If you find the Wrangler ones with this Aztec print, it does sell for more. Um, not only is this vintage and Aztec print, 
but it also is a pearl snap and it's vintage. What size is it? Okay, it's an extra large worth 189. So this one I did inspect, it doesn't have any stains or holes. So check out these blue pearl snaps. This is an eBay listing as well. So I do need to actually not throw this in that same pile. I need to take out that jacket. That way my mom doesn't list it on Poshmark. Okay, here's another um, cycling shirt. So this would be an eBay listing again. Um, the picnic looking pattern gingham. It's fun and bright. The pearl snaps are nice. Yeah, right? It's like you could sell the pearl snaps alone. <laughs> I might need to do research on uh, some damaged pearl snaps. This is made in the USA. It says all synthetic pyro apparel. And I got this one because it has multiple sclerosis society all over it. And I thought maybe somebody loves to support that um, society. Um, so here's the shirt and it's in excellent condition. It also has the bottle holders in the back and it zips down. You need some air. <laughs> so that's cool. That's also an eBay listing. I got these for myself. I don't know if I can fit my big hips into this because they're a medium and I do need to lose some weight. But these are just Old Navy and I don't pick up Old Navy unless it's uber cute. And these are uh, size medium. They're kind of not too wide at the bottom. But I was going to try these on. I don't know if they'll fit me and I don't know if I'll like the style, but I thought they were cute. Put that over there. Okay, these are oh so cute. I was talking to that one lady I told you guys about earlier in this video, and I found me standing right next to her in the checkout line. Uh, Zoe and L. I think I've seen this tag before. Z and L. Zoe and what? But they're uh, the big boho, wide leg, hippie, flare. <laughs> Oh, bell bottoms. What else can you call that? Ruffle? Wow, these are super, th well, no, there is some shorts underneath of it. So you do have enough cover on your butt, I guess. Barely. These are cute. I don't know what size these are. They do seem kind of small. Um, I got this risking this skirt. It is total vintage. It's made in the USA. It's called Young Traditions. It's a size six. I thought it was so cute though. Like I would actually wear this if I wore skirts. Very modest. So it's spandex waist a little bit, but it's a long silky soft skirt. What's it made out of? I don't know, but I don't want it to get wrinkly, so I'm gonna lay that one up. Okay, we have one more bag. I'm gonna try to hurry, okay? One more bag. Talbots, size 14. A blazer coat. I think it's cotton or linen. Let me look. So nice. It is polyester, rayon, and spandex. Okay, made in Indonesia. <clears throat> I usually don't pick those up. They don't sell very fast for me. Oh my God, what is this? So pretty, is this Johnny Was? Oh my God, I'm like freaking out. This is the Johnny Was piece. Oh my God, <laughs> deep breath. I don't even think this is a dress or a shirt. I think it might be a kimono. Are y'all ready? Because I'm going to put it on. I'm like so excited, you guys. This might be a $100 sale. OMG. You ready? It's a newer Johnny Wes tag, I believe, is what that is. Oh, it is a kimono. 
Oh, wow. This is easily going to go up for like $99, you guys. Someone probably spent like $300 or more on this. So the sleeves are embroidered. The back is embroidered with roses, I believe, right? Yep. Yeah. And as I'm showing it to you guys, I'm not, get out of there. I'm not seeing any flaws. However, oh, I think it's linen. It's got pockets. Ooh, ooh. So cool. I love it. I'm not keeping it because one, I would stain it. And two, this is like your number one money maker ever. Score right here, you guys. I can't believe I found this at the pound store. I'm like, take a deep breath. I'm like having a panic attack. This is so exciting. Like, ah, yay, jump up for joy. Okay, let's check it out. I'm gonna inspect it for any stains. And we're gonna read the fabric because it might have silk too. I don't know yet. Wow, I can't believe someone donated this. Okay, which sleeve did I check? I think it was that one. Wow. I'm not seeing any damages. It's a size large. Okay, here's our fabric tag. Wow. I can't believe like how this thing is even making me feel. It's 100% linen. The trim is 100% polyester. And there's no silk, huh? Well, I was thinking this part was the silk. So is this a thinner polyester or are they saying, I mean a thinner linen or is this a thinner polyester? Trim, trims? Maybe this trim is polyester. Hmm, not sure. Wow, this thing is amazing. This right here, Woo! I'm like, okay, 99 or 150? Like, wow. This thing is like, I can't even just, I can't even describe to you guys like how it makes my heart feel. I'm like, my heart is like, oh, I'm in love with that thing. Okay. So I found a Calvin Klein dress and it's a plus size. It's a 24 wide and I think it's a really thick fabric. What is it? Oh, here we go. It's like this ugly rubber tag. It's spandex, poly, and rayon. I cannot even, like, it's still, like, my heart is still racing from that Johnny was. That is so crazy how it would make me feel that way. I'm like, oh, like, finding Louis Vuitton, you know? Look at this cute, like, I don't even know how to describe the style of this dress. It's kind of got a, like, a ruffle bottom slash pleaty look, but it's not pleated. And then you would think that this would have a name like Houndstooth, but it's not Houndstooth, so I don't know. Do you strictly make a living reselling? How long have you been doing it for? Good morning, Flippin'. I would enjoy what you do more than my nine to five job. Yeah, totally. I never wanna go ever to sit back to a nine to five job. Um, that gives me like the creeps or just thinking about it or anxiety of ever having to go back to another job. Um, so my oldest son is 12 and I started reselling while I had a full-time job when he was about, I'd say two years old. And then I did that for a couple years and then my account had gotten in trouble on eBay from some crazy lady some crazy lady had bought um, like 10 different, not 10, she probably bought like seven of my auctions and I wouldn't bundle the shipping for her and she got mad and she left me negative feedback on all, every one of the listings. So therefore it uh, put a ding on my account as well as PayPal. 
I even won the eBay case. I got to keep my money and she returned the product and I had no returns on my listing. She returned it. Needless to say, uh, for about two, two and a half years now, I've been into real estate license in the state of Texas. And for the past two years, I've really been doing a uh, thrifting part time and I do resell. I mean, I do real estate part time and I do reselling part time. But reselling sometimes takes up full time to me, too, because I get to work at home. I don't want to be a crazy, busy realtor to where I don't have time for my family. So I've been selling for like 10 years, really, on the Internet to break it down for you. So, yeah, you got to be careful on eBay. Yeah, especially with crazy people, buyers like that. Except it was my fault because I was being really tacky to her. Um, she was paying for only five of her listings and she wouldn't pay for like the other two or three. And I was like, can you please pay for your stuff so I can ship it? And um, I was just like bugging her, like pay for your order before I'm shipping out the other orders. And due to that, we kind of had got into it on the on the Internet through messaging and so, like I said, eBay granted me the money. eBay let me keep all the returned items, but when your buyer leaves you freaking negative feedback, you guys, there ain't nothing you can do. Sorry, I meant Chevron, not Herringbone. Trying to list while listening, LOL. My listing was Herringbone. I didn't even see that part. Did I miss your comment? Oh, zigzag pattern on material is called Herringbone. Really? Let me look that up. Because I don't know that word either. Safari. And you guys have told me in the comments, but I'm going to look it up. Almost gone. That was not a bid. I wish. Herring bone. Oh, it is. Zigzag is chevron. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know about herringbone. I'm going to take a picture and I'll show y'all what it looks like. I never use this in my listings and I probably should because some women are probably obsessed with that pattern. Thank you, Sarah. Hey, Jill. Smart dabbling in more than one thing. Yeah, the CK dress is really nice. It's also very heavy. So... Some resellers or some people at the pound store may not buy it because of the fact, wow, okay, because of the fact that it's so heavy. What is this? I don't even remember this. Okay, so it's that jo Joy, Joy, Joy. I think this is maybe new with tags, never used because it still has this string. Um, this is also a kimono. It might have came from the same lady. Oh my gosh, this is nice too, you guys. So, okay, like kind of bat wingy. So pretty. I feel like it's silk. Jill, Jill, Jill. So. I feel like I hear the mailman outside, but it's too early. It's only 1030. So it's a medium to large. Oh, I got to see if this is silk or not. Yeah, 100% silk lining. I do got a good pound store, don't I? Jeez. They don't even have this nice of stuff in the boutique next door that y'all were like, wow, you're fast, Heather. You were in and out. Well, yeah, they don't have anything high end like this. Oh, pretty kimono. They have like um, even Target stuff at the boutique. Okay, I got to, I'm all walking around. I don't have any more chairs. Let me put this over here. Mom is going to make some money on these. I won't be giving Mom the Johnny Wes, but I will be giving her everything else on this haul. The Johnny Wes is the one thing that I'm going to keep. Unless it's hard goods, of course. So <clears throat> I'm not sure what you were saying, Pickers. 
Um, that is the way I at I USPS number to all mail out. I lost shipping on that radio. I'll show you all the radio I shipped. Um, I shipping shipping it today. Let's see. Sold. I'm learning now though to start weighing stuff. So um okay, so the radio, the vintage sharp radio sold for sixty dollars plus I took a best offer of sixty finally. And then they also paid me 15 for the shipping, but I had to ship that into a large flat rate box because the medium bag and medium boxes wouldn't fit this. And I didn't have like a regular brown box or I didn't have, it wouldn't have fit in a regional A or B box. So I had to use a large flat rate and it cost about 17 or 18 bucks. So I lost out like two or three bucks on this radio. You just reminded me of the mail. I'm waiting for my first jewelry mystery bag from going on Grumpy. Ooh. Aw. Do you do videos, Jill? I've never seen a mystery jewelry bag. That sounds fun. Here's a new shoe you guys may not be familiar of because I never freaking heard of it. And they do sell even on Poshmark. This is Mahabas, designed in London, made in Portugal. Uh, upper textile lining and sock textile. Yeah, it was cute. It was fun to even play that radio because I did a video of, a, of me seeing if it works. So it reminded me of being a kid again, that radio. Oh my gosh. So all shoes are two bucks and I did pay for these and then we threw it in the bag after we paid for it. Uh, if you don't know, but this rubber comes completely off and you can interchange these shoes. <laughs> Never seen it. They're uber cool. And I think you can sell just the rubber. So if you guys find the rubber, definitely look up your comps. You can sell them on eBay. If they don't sell good on um, eBay, they sell good on Poshmark. So check it out. Oh, itchy, itchy, itchy. Okay, this is a rare piece. I feel like um, I feel like there's not very many of these. Yeah, you've never seen those shoes. Interesting. My favorite shoes that I never knew about that I could think of the top of my head are a brand named Melissa, and they were uh, thick bottoms like platform but they were rubber and they were jelly and they smell good so when you pick up the shoe it just smells like a baby doll you remember the baby dolls that smell kind of jelly good or something i don't want jelly good whatever you know um it smells like that and i sold them for good money on poshmark melissa m-e-l-i-s-s-a -S -S that is the way i put usps on all mail out do not like to piss a buyer off Oh, okay. It was back, yeah, this was back when I first started reselling. And my listings were, you know, buy this jumpsuit, pay $2.99 to ship it. And then she bought like seven of them, and she didn't want to pay the shipping on every single one. Well, then go buy from some other seller. Like, you didn't have to pay for all my auctions if you didn't like my terms, you know what I mean? Um, so it wasn't fair. So I got this leather raincoat and it's worn by WDNY. Isn't that like Target or something? And maybe JCPenney's, I don't know. That WDNY, where have I seen that? Your jewelry's here. When are you gonna open it? Are you gonna do a video? Oh yeah, your girl had to put it on. Could you imagine with some like red patent leather boots oh, or just being like, hey, honey, woo. <laughs> that's what reminded me of this. You see the movies where they come in the hotel or whatever. <laughs> I'm having a moment with my love handles hanging out. I'm crying over here. Um, yeah, like we're in lingerie. Ah! So fun. 
there's no stains and no holes. I couldn't resist getting this. I'm like crying. It's so funny. <clears throat> My mannequin's kind of breaking. It's plastic down here. And I wonder how I'm going to fix it. My dress form. I call this a mannequin. So forgive me that I'm using the wrong term, but I like to call it a mannequin because I don't have a mannequin. This is my mannequin. It's a dress form. She doesn't have a head. <clears throat> I want to buy one. I just never have found any local, and they're pretty expensive. You want to buy my raincoat? Poshmark. Poshmark, baby. I love that thing. <laughs> like, you just need the boots. Flasher coat, is that what people do? <clears throat> oh, Jill. You know you don't have to do it. You can just show us like this and be like, hey, here's my jewelry bag. Do, 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 do. Just wear a cool shirt. You know what I mean? Or you can, you can face your camera towards the wall. <clears throat> Wowzers can see you a mile away. That could be an Austin Powers movie. <laughs> Seriously, best friend in your thread. Are you supposed to use the word flasher? Or are you making that up? Are you making that up or is that real? <laughs> like, what would you wear underneath that? Like, I'm still tearing up. Oh, you said you hope not? Oh. Whew, that was fun. Okay. I love it when the hauls get fun. Um, I think there, this said faux leather. Is this the one you're talking about? Oh wow, this is like our vampire red silky bed sheet lining. It's really nice quality, you guys. That's why I got this thing. I was like, it is nice. Woo! Flasher, it's 100% patent leather. And then 100% polyester. So it's real faux leather, whatever, patent leather. I would think it gets hard, yeah. No, don't use flasher. <laughs> oh my gosh. So hilarious. What is this? My hair is all jacked up. Um, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Could you imagine if that was black and you wore red lingerie underneath of it? Oh. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I had a moment there. I got some books that were rated, weighed at 75 cents a pound for Rylan, my littlest one. Um, I found these while I was checking out, so that's why they weren't in the suitcase with all the other hard goods. We weighed them and then threw them in with the clothes. Always room for one more. How did I get this? Oh, shoot. Hey, look, the, I knew that said my name. Look, they wailed for a while in the heather. What? I didn't know that was a word. I mean, I know Heather is a flower and a girl's name, but I didn't know they wailed for a while in the Heather. Y'all see that? I'm not sure why I got this book, but it's, it's cool. It's a little book, not too bad. It'd be a cute little story, black and white picture book. Uh, the Milk Makers, I figured this would be kind of cool for Rowan to learn about cows. Um, this one, Spaghetti and Meatballs for All. Nice, long, sleepy book. And then this one has a price of $4.99, Scholastic. And Big Chicken Fly, what? Big Chickens Fly the Coop. And... Uh, if you have like, if you ever need to buy something for a little boy, um, we have a book that's called Chicken Butt, and my little six-year-old loves anything with the word butt in it or poop, so if you ever need a gift to buy a kid for a boy, totally anything with chicken butt or poop in it's cool, right? 
But this is just the chickens. So it reminded me of the chicken butt book. So and it's real colorful. So we got that one. Well, oh, is it lunchtime yet? I'm hungry. Okay, almost done, you guys. Just a couple more pieces. I lie, there's quite a few. Here's a vintage piece, and I think it I I think it. I thought maybe it was a little girl's dress. It does have a stain right there. That's okay. It's a vintage nightgown. Says it's a medium, so I think it would even fit me. So I'm not sure if it's little girls or not. Probably not. It's totally vintage. It doesn't even have tags. Or does it? Hold on. Yeah. Here's the vintage tag. Komar? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so kids in general just love the the word butt and poop, and they just think it's L.L. Bean. No. No, it wasn't, was it? No, it said something else. Komar? Oh, you have an L.L. Bean like that. Okay. Okay. I love this tropical shirt. Um, I get, I'm assuming this is a boy's shirt. Maybe it'll fit Tucker next year. Not this year. Um, I'm not even sure if I should resell this. I'm not sure of the brand, but this was really popular this past year and maybe last year. So anything tropical and Hawaiian is like really in style currently. It will still be in style in 2019. Don't worry. I know it will because it's very cool. This is like so cool. And it's, I feel like it barely became really popular this past year. I don't know. Could be wrong. It's just my opinion. Okay. This tag reminded me of anthropology, but I have no idea what it is. The tag is funky and it's kind of like army ish and, and embroidered, I believe. So I got it. And I think it's cotton. It's very boho hippie kind of like. It's super thin. I think it's 100% cotton. It's beaded up. Let me show you the tag. It's so funky and weird. It says it's a size medium. And it also says it's like tactical wear or something. Surplus. Rad Surplus Vintage Originals. Tropical is in for sure. No worries about the typo. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I couldn't resist getting this. I don't know, size 11. I guess that's a little girl's dress. I mean, a skirt, maybe? Not sure. It's super cute, though. Mm -mm. Don't pee on the clothes, Bogey. What's up? Okay. Okay. Backyard, please, so he doesn't pee everywhere. Okay. And then I, oh, I did score a bunch of J. Jill, um, like four pieces, I believe, maybe three or four pieces. So here's J. Jill. The spandex, I think, is coming open. No, they actually made it that way to where it's open in each section. So these are some tights, size medium, they're skinny, kind of like, all right. Oh, 11 o'clock meeting, yeah. <clears throat> you agree with me on the tropical? <clears throat> oh my gosh, you guys who've been with me for a while, may have heard me once or twice talk about this, okay? My 12-year-old, um, last year, he asked me for some of these, and I never bought them for him. They are Under Armour tights. And I told someone, an older man at the Goodwill, who surprisingly actually has a house to sell, and I met him and his wife. Go figure, me being a realtor, not in my car. I don't have any of my business cards, so I had to write my phone number down. They're remodeling a house. 
Um, and I should have had a card, but they were super uber hippie cool, like some old couple. Um, they were really sweet. And I showed him, I was like, you know, my kid had asked me for these. And look what God brought me. I said, these pants right here would probably cost me 25 to 30 bucks brand new in the store. And my son started football this year. So these are super freaking cool that um, I'm going to be kind of gay like that and just be like, yeah, God brought these to us, right? Because he knew we needed them. So we're going to wash those bad boys. He is going to be so happy. I don't know why I got this, you guys. I wanted to throw it back, but it's so cool. It's an apron to cook with. Your girl hasn't even been cooking lately. I don't even know why, but I need to get back into the habit. Um, it's a cute little ruffle cotton apron. And I thought it had a brand, but I guess it doesn't. Um, it's kind of a huge fail on this that it doesn't have any pockets and that's a huge fail. I'm going to throw that in the garage sale pile. It doesn't even have a brand. Oh my gosh, we need to hurry. So here is some J. Jill. It's a really thick, oh look, it's pure J. Jill. Oh, my nose is uh, 2X plus size. It's a heavy cardigan sweater with pockets. Very large iPhone 8 pockets. You can still see it. There's one. Or that's the second piece. Here is another J. Jill. Which one is this? It's just J. Jill. It's an extra large um, zip up coat. What is this? called I can't think of the sweater the zipper works luckily YKK zippers meaning high good quality the YKK does so it's just a two-tone color blocking kind of pink zip up oh my god the word will come to me later um, I got these because they are the sil or seven jeans. Some of these are okay and some of them are not. Um, I think these are more like Capri ones. And they're a plus size, I believe. So I went ahead and got them. They're a size 16. It's got a lot of perfume. A lot of perfume. I'm going to check in the pockets for money. Yeah, way too much perfume on that, but I feel like this was a really good score. I mean, I guess mainly because of uh, Johnny Was. That raincoat is something, isn't it? Okay, what is this? This is also J. Jill. It's a size large, and it is a, oh, it's got 9% silk. It's a, probably the silk is this, yeah, here. The stripe paneling or whatever you want to call it on the sides. Is it just me, but I don't see the YKK as much lately. Mm, I don't think so. Unless you're buying the expensive like Louis Vuitton or something. I wonder what's on my Kate Spade purse. J. Jill. Is, don't, doesn't this brand sell more on eBay, do y'all think? I think it might. Okay, I think we have like, oh, maybe three pieces left. Okay, so I got this vintage sweater. It's not, it says Bold Eagle and it's an extra large New York, New York. It's acrylic. Look, it's this vintage sweater, but it has the three stripes like Adidas. So it's not Adidas, but it has the three stripes and it's not got any stains or holes. It is the cutest freaking sweater ever. You know what? My purse is in the car. I wouldn't be able to tell. Like this um, vintage purse here has got YKK zippers on it. So let me show you this tag if anybody cares. It's so vintage. 
I might need to look up this brand or something. I don't know. But if anything, I would totally wear this. Like, I'm going to put it on. I could wear this, literally. So fun. Kind of boyish, right? Oh, I love the V-cut. It's like the coolest sweater ever. Oh, ever. I love this. There's like 53,000 J. Jill listings on eBay, if that helps. Uh, no, that's a lot. Um, I'd probably just have to see the comps if they sold more on eBay or Poshmark for sweaters. I freaking love this thing. So simple and so cheap too. Love it. I didn't realize this was see-through right there or I wouldn't be wearing this shirt. I was wearing a muscle shirt before this one and I decided to put this one on for the video. Okay, two more pieces, right? Maybe? Three? Yeah, three. Let me show you this one. It's super cool. It's Mayan, size small. Never heard of it. Looks like a boutique. It is the faux fur. And this one, wait, yeah, I like it. It's got the fur on the sleeves, so it's another cape. Is that what you call it? Ooh, it feels so classy and elegant and in my running shorts, right? Or my biker shorts. Isn't it cool? Just needs to be longer to cover the butt is the problem. I like it. I thought I could actually wear this and be like, hey, you want to put in an offer? No, I'm joking. Joking. Okay, two more pieces. We're finally done. Yay. Okay, this I was so happy to find. It Somebody removed the tags, but I actually have a similar piece like this, and I love it, except mine is silky soft. This is just like a... a like a shirt, but it's like a dress shirt, I guess. I don't know what you call it. Let me see. Kind of like a cover up. I mean, really, it's just like a shirt, but like I said, it goes way down. So I could wear it like this, you know. I like it. I think I might keep it because, again, there's no tags, there's no size or maker, and I really like it. Really like it. Okay, guys, the last piece I have to show you today is just random. It's just the last piece in the bag. It's by Metaphor, and I think some of this is an anthropology collab. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. I might be making that up. But it's a spandex dress. It's uber cute. I It's actually short enough for me, so I thought maybe I would keep it, but I don't think I will because there's no padding in the boobs. And I need padding because that's just the way I like it. Um, but look, it's like perfect for someone 5'1 like me to where it doesn't drag on the ground. And that's rare. Most of the dresses I see are super long and they drag. So this one was so cool. Almost so cool. So it's a size small. I don't know. I could probably keep it if I put a bra on, right? I don't know. Okie dokie. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you enjoyed the haul somewhat. I got stuff everywhere. Do you like to see? There's stuff all over my kitchen table. There's stuff all over my floor. And there's stuff all over my floor over here. That's why I do this in the garage. But the mosquitoes are too bad in the garage. The shirt vest in the black and white is cute on me. Oh, thank you. I like it. I like it that it covers the butt. Might be good with a long sleeve shirt and some boots this winter. All right, let me know which was your favorite piece out of the whole haul, hard goods or clothes. Let me know what was your favorite piece in the chat box or the description box below. If you, again, if you have any questions or comments, please let us know. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Have a great Monday.